well then don't run warrior and ask your opponent to, to run warrior and there's your ban <laughs> like no. it's the same thing <laughs> like what your nightmare. so silly oh dragon warlock dragon warlock interesting oh. i haven't seen that in, what a year and a half I know, but it's probably not the Malagos version, but like more of a mid-range kind of version. But man, something. Well, it could be uh, uh no, it could be um, Reno. Yeah, it could be Reno. Yeah, that's true. That's true too. Could also be Nazoth. Yeah, Nazoth. Re yeah, Nazoth Dragon Reno deck. It runs three of those four cards, so possibility. Yeah. But man, that's something new. And having Hellfire to start. Oh wait, no, don't oh, no. But yeah, now it's a Dragon variant. Yeah. Could still be Nazoth. Yeah, it definitely could be in this song. You can just run Sylvanas and, uh, like, Chill Double, and then... double Doomsayer in this. No, actually, he might be thinking about Hellfiring this turn. Like, what do you mean? Playing a minion and just trading in now so he gets to save the, the oh, no, flame. No, 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 you're talking about Soulfire, but I'm talking about his Hellfire. Oh, you're right, it is Soulfire, not yeah. uh, Power of Welling. Yeah, no, no, I, I was talking about Soulfire. What are you trying to say? No, like, using the no, Soulfire. No, you said Hellfire. Okay, well, either way, it doesn't matter. I'm talking yeah. about playing a minion and then killing off that. Yeah. Now he has no purpose at all of saving it. So he is actually thinking about just playing the uh, Possessed Villager, just mm -hmm. to have a 1-1 one -one out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can just use the Soulfire so and then just do it. But I feel like if okay. you're going to play that route anyway, then you probably were all right just doing the Soulfire route Ooh, to so play a 1-1. One -one. Oh, so you put the, yeah. the Flame Imp. Like, I, I think I would have preferred having the Flame Imp plus a 1-1 one -one on the board, or... Uh, it's your life tempo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a life tempo. Like, well, we'll see if he draws a five drop. Yeah, yeah, we'll see if he draws a five yeah, drop. Yeah, we'll <laughs> but what kind of five drop does he really put? Oh, I guess like Drake. Yeah, you might have Drake, but Twilight Drakes are playable. Yeah. Um, the two drop, yeah. the raised alchemist. Yeah. To be honest, I actually miss double doomsayers in a lot of decks. Like the like, I'm playing Reno Mage right now, but like, although it just runs with one doomsayer, I really miss two doomsayers. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty oh. good. I mean. Think back to uh, like Super JJ's earlier build that ran. Uh... Man, I feel so defeated already. Yeah, I, w I would feel defeated. He's probably gonna play Imp Camp Boss and another Flame Imp, but Flame Imp is probably gonna be like non effective. Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna watch the Twilight Guardian trade into the Imp Game Boss and then Hellfire. Yeah. So he's just left with a 1 1, and then you still have uh, one health left on your Twilight Dragon. So basically, the board is cleared in essence. Mm hmm. But that Siphon Soul, does that change anything? Oh yeah, you have the Twilight Guardian. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, uh, the Corruptor. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, just going with more of a, a board tempo control. And like, you're just, you're still doing That's super what good. That's said, man. Yeah, true. I think we're too hyped on the, the Dragon Lock deck. <laughs> Not watching the two deck dudes thing. He's going with Soulfire. Yeah, we're going to probably... Councilman. It buffs it, right? So... Yeah, well, yeah. like, that. this is what I was thinking, is that you actually... Play the councilman. You play uh, power of the wild or power, power overwhelming on imp king boss, and you trade it in, oh. and you get the plus one value from it. Looks like he's just gonna go with that. Yeah, oh. hellfire, way to go. Oh, going for the forbidden ritual route. Oh, that hellfire looks pretty juicy. And you have the second corruptor in hand too. Mm. That's pretty Ooh. disgusting. Ooh. 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 Interesting. Just gonna build a board anyway. Push his opponent down to lethal anyway. So look, look. There's only enough minions to actually clear out one of those. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely gonna see it. Yeah, I think that would be for us. Play one, two. You can, you only have to really play one, but I definitely want to yeah. play two just to get a board. Well, this could be also just, also a bluff that he doesn't really have any board clears, and that's why he's using his drop dude. Could kind of make him over his then, but yeah, I could definitely see that route. I almost feel like though that Hellfire was just way more worth. Yeah, it's way More. worth, right? So, but way then, worth. But, but oh. at his kind of sports state, Ooh, like we just drew the second dragon, so <laughs> bookworm is on. Huh. The one clause you have to have a dragon. Alexstrasza. Things are rough. Doomguard, start hitting face, man. Actually, you could trade here. Just use your yeah, Doomguard like to second. Here. Right? Yeah, I like to trade here. Even Hellfire now, can't clear. It. Yeah, Hellfire can't clear it. Rupture could have. That face. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Face, 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 face. It's a really close game. Oh, board clear. Never mind, board clear. Hellfire with Mortal Coil. Do -do. That Alex Straza, too, is just gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, so much removal. The Shraggy deck's gross, man. Corruptors, Bookworms, Shadow Bolts, uh, oh, Mortal Coils, uh, Siphon Souls. I mean, so much removal. <laughs> yeah, so much removal. Like, you don't even need heals in this deck. You just need the minor heals from, like, potential Alex Straza heal and uh, Siphon Souls. Like, it's not even that So, bad. do you just... Do you just do the, the Shadow Bolt this turn and then go yeah, just, M Gate Boss yeah, and just develop board? Yeah, I like that. So you you go with the Dark Peddler first, see what you get. Like you do have one mana of oh, yeah, cool, Mortal Coil. Cool. Nah, I think this is Aerith. Yeah, yeah, Shifter is better. Oh, okay, fine, cool. Went with the Mortal Coil. Right. He knows best. He's played this deck way more than us. Yeah. <laughs> he knows best. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, now you're stuck up a board. It's more likely that the zoo player is probably just gonna hit face at this point. Can't really remove anything. Oh no, he can trade into the the peddler, right? Yeah. But like, oh, I guess like that's like you need course, to win with but... damage too, so yeah. it's a little bit rough. Well, these are two really good cards. Yeah, now you have to kill off the peddler. Actually, do you? It takes two minions to kill it. Yeah, I I think you trade it in, right? No, it takes two minions to oh, actually yeah, right, kill right, right, right. No, the yeah, yeah. So it could be better just to hit face, because you oh. did. Oh my oh, that's word, lethal. that's lethal. Yeah, it's lethal. Yeah, just Hellfire and just if game boss to the face. GG. What a disgusting warlock deck. Deckless, oh. please. We just saw removal after removal, usually going against like eight eights or something mm -hmm. different. So you actually had to sacrifice your peddler or something in order yeah. to do it. Oh, now we we even see the claws coming from uh, Phoenix. So this is the low amount of minions is what you were saying earlier like this deck doesn't run that many minions yeah, it doesn't run that many minions but then you do use the claws to deal a reasonable amount of damage to the face or at least that's what how i've seen people piloted in the uh on ladder that's nine damage <laughs> and then you have doom hammer to back it up but yeah claw could actually do a lot of clearing here he has his choice between just playing down those next turn and having three powers the following turn as well man it's really gross a lot of value I think you might want to just go damage here. And you notice he's playing Silver Ward Golem, so he's also playing a discard deck. Could be interesting. Yeah, could be Let's interesting. see if he actually gets that insane value. Maybe gets double uh, discard effects. Yeah, he he can get a value, but he just needs to use a Soul Fire. But he's probably looking for a op like a good opportunity to use that Soul Fire. Like a two cost minion as well yeah. would be sick. Then he yeah. could probably just afford to do two uh, four to face. Then he could just put it on a race. Mm -hmm. But we'll probably just see a Lightning Storm come down next turn if that yeah. ever happens. Like, I would not be, o -O. ooh. I, I guess that is another mode for that card, is that you can play that for three mana, awkward. This is probably the better play too, because you get to remove the spell power. Maybe Tuscar is just the best route, because regardless of what happens, you can just kill off uh, the the 2-1, and then you still have the answer to the 3-3. Uh, the three -three. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on for one sec. Go ahead and have fun casting this. I'm sure this will be over quite soon. Yeah. Well, you can potentially see the soul fire onto the... Uh, onto the flame tongue totem. Just to remove that extra kind of value. But he's... Oh, that's that makes a huge difference. You're probably going to play the Malchazar's in. You can potentially actually just tap first. But yeah, dropping the PO is pretty much all you need. Oh, yeah, not soul firing the flame tongue, but soul firing the uh, Tuscar and trading the 3 3 unit. Yeah, now there's a lot of value. So following up to next turn with Defender of Argus, that's pretty disgusting. Oh, we're going for the Hex into the Malkazar's Imp. I, like, I understand this reasoning too, because I prioritize that card quite high, is because Zoo can start to draw a lot with that card, but... Yeah, I guess, I guess that's reasonable. Right, What's reasonable? Oh, he uh, hacks the uh, Melchizedek's in. Well, yeah, I hear that card's really threatening, dude. Yeah, like, I've yet to see one actually go off and, you know, make decks go crazy, but yeah, dude, it's it's potential sick value. On paper, it is disgusting. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm, Tuscar. I don't think that's worth a lightning star. Is there a lightning bolt or any way to actually kill that? Oh, whoa. Actually leaving up uh, 
Forbidden summoning seems good too, it fills up the board! Yeah, especially it allows you to buff up your councilman and just keep going face. But then so, you do have a spell yeah, power on, on board though. Like, spell power is actually really good. Really for the Drake, all for the Drake, all for the Drake, all for the Drake. No, it's already going to face. Well, I, I, I just kind of feel like that he needed to trade oh. with Tuscar, but it looks like the M's are going to take care of the Tuscar! Oh, no. Uh, wait. Uh, the, the question is, do you actually go facing? Oh, okay. I yes! Okay. Yes, how do you no, win no, this no, game? No, 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 because then, because... Plus two to the Tunnel Trog. Um, Lightning Bolt gives an additional one, so that's, uh, four oh. attack. Trog. No, that doesn't matter. He could... Well, he can't take the sixth face. That's not a question. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that 0-4 taunt is actually pretty big, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm still looking to see if he actually has lethal. I think he might actually have... No. Maybe uh, if he got... Spell power? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, this it's is, a lot this, of. This is why I said trade into the Drake. Trade into Drake. Yeah. Potentially kill him. Yeah. Like, I, I, I wouldn't I know, be surprised I, if yeah. the lock deck like this actually runs Leroy. Yeah. I, I, I know like in a, I know for a fact like that's what's the winning play, but I don't know. Like for a freaking shaman, like all the spell power is so scary. Right now. Yeah. Well, spell power has always been scary. Yeah. It's just a matter of who's playing it. <laughs> They're just extra more scary. Spirit Claw, Maelstrom Portal, and Lightning Storm? Disgusting. I don't know, man. Like, if you leave a Thalnos up against the Freeze Mage, you're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> like, so yeah, maybe... Well, it's always been the same. Like, any spell power, Drake is just good. It's the same with Rogue. Leaving up Thalnos, or yeah, leaving up Drake. It's yeah, usually... Phantom out, Dives. Like, yeah. the, the number of cards out and stuff like that. It was yeah. just not possible to play any other day. No, I feel I felt like it felt like for the prelims, the Dragon Warrior is wrong, like the aggressive, like if you brought it. Yeah, it is I mean wrong. we're gonna see it again in the next uh, week or two, right? Yeah. So no, people are running uh, more control based kind of dragon. No, 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 no. no. Uh, the the tournament you can't change your list from when you turned in. Oh, a month. really? Yeah, you have to stay with the same list. Oh. That's why when you saw Sidonia um, when the the spring prelim, like yeah. he had a really all his lists were really old. Like, yeah. oh, that's you brutal. can't switch lists. Yeah, you, switch. yeah. So you have to actually practice with that deck for like a month to a month and a half, depending yeah. on how long in the tournament. Yeah. All, all I'm gonna say is that, yeah, Dragon Warrior, like the aggressive kind, like bring to prelim is not correct because it's gonna get beat by the Cthulhu kind of warriors, like where they're really good against these kind of mid rangey kind of decks. So. Disgusting. Yeah, well, I, it was still a fine decision. It, it depends is. on your lineup in the end, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true, too. It depends on what you, yeah, the complement of the lineup as well. So we're going to see the Finley. Not not really what you want to see, I guess, but... Uh, would you take the Dagger or Reinforce? Uh, I feel... Probably the Dagger, right? Because you see, you see the... Um, Raven. Yeah, the, the Dagger's fine. Yeah. yeah, Yeah, when you see the Raven, you know it's a little bit more aggressive. Oh, it's something else to remember about those decks that we're going to about to see in two weeks again. Um, in that meta, it's banning the Shaman, not the Warrior. So that's a bit different than what you see here in this current meta. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Different things to be worried about. Shaman is not something most people think about right now because there's just so many different varieties. And Melstorm Pulse really does slow it down to where it used to be like even more aggressive. True. It's more about early board control than it was before. Before, it was just like flood the board, hope you get there. Mm-hmm. And it could run out of steam real fast, and Dragon War was insanely good at destroying that deck. Yeah. But, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Who will win the event? See if it's Dragon War or Cthulhu Warrior. Mm -hmm. But Beast War, uh, Beast Druid, sounds crazy. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, interesting Interesting enough, like, he's planning to play the Argent Squire. I would have played the Beast if he had just trade off the... Um... Raven. The, the reason for that is the like, mark of Yasserage. You don't really want to give him that value. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't know, man. Like, okay, th this deck, the Beast Druid deck, you know that what they're really trying to get is either a Stranglethorn Tiger or another minion that's stealth and start powering it up and then duplicating it with your mm -hmm. six drop. Yeah, but then for this, but then for the Beast Druid in general, you know they would lose if they lose the early board right away without any Beast Druid, any kind of draw. Because this deck itself runs out of steam really quickly. And also, once you lose board, it's really hard for board. you to come back most of the time. Warden. Yeah. Yeah, Warden in the middle of his hand. Yeah. Did you bring some fish? Menagerie Warden. Oh! Menagerie Warden, And I yeah. thought this was like an awkward play, playing Tuscar Totemic into a uh, Raven just because it can easily be traded, but always told him Golem. One in three chance that so you'll get something good out of it. Yeah. Um... 
You know, I'm, I'm trying to think. Ooh, can you hear a power too? Or do you just trade no, in? No, you just trade um, in. Like, I'm trying to think here if they're. How do they make Tuscar to make not as strong? Is you just make more crappy totems? <laughs> but how do you make totems that are bad? You, I guess, like to change it. I guess, like you just change it to basic totems only, like the Witch Doctor. Ah, uh, you you yeah, can't yeah, do that. But, yeah, but you can't do that. Yeah, you can't. Do but that. see, like uh, the Witch Doctor also doesn't follow the rule of like zero power. It just plays. It could be like two or three healing totems or two or three taunt totems as yeah, well. Yeah, it doesn't like, follow that. Random. Yeah, it doesn't follow that stupid. I yeah, think I think I, it should follow that rule though. Like that's only the only. No, thing that would because make then you good. can only summon four totems. Yeah. Where in this way you get to summon as many totems as possible. Like you could actually have six totems on the board. Mm -hmm. I, I really think they should have had the shaman hero power that way in the first place, and it would have made it a lot less weaker. Like every turn that you're not doing something, you could potentially get another taunt totem, or you could get a second healing totem, or you. Get... Oh my god! So back in Bennett, I don't know if you know this, um, healing totem also healed you. Oh, that's disgusting. So yeah, could you, could you actually think about it that at one point, if the uh, hero power didn't. You, uh, like only the, the set amount of totems, like it could have summoned as many healing totems as possible. Like, so many decks would just cry because you're just like, oh, Doomhammer, trade, trade, heal six at the other turn, go. <laughs> like, how do you beat that? You can't. You, you can't. Well, you can, but it's pretty fucking hard. Alright, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see Flaming Faceless coming down here, protected by Pharaoh Spirits. Sounds, looks good. What a meme. What a me. But this is what I said about like um, the Beast Root in general. I guess like you can't like the Menagerie board is going to get value but... now, but it's like a little off curve. Like it's a little slow to actually set up. Like he might well, not even like... want to in, in a sense. Well, he could clear two of those. You know what I, I think they're really missing out is they need a, a possibly a taunt. For beast. What? Oh, for a John Beast? You do have a Druid of the yeah. But, I mean, like, duplicating a Druid of Claw is pretty good, right? Is there any stronger Beast? And then go face with the 7 7. Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. Like Are you sure it's not the Raptor that you're getting rid of? But yeah, I, I would agree with you. Getting rid of the Savage Gambit does seem correct move here. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, do little... you know with what? the Inspire of the Savage Combatant, if uh, if you have two out, if it gives you plus four attack instead of plus just the two? What do you mean? He's a right. I'm gonna read Savage Combatant real quick. <laughs> Hold on. Inspire, give your hero plus two attack this turn. Yeah, so like if he did duplicate the uh, Savage Combatant, he would have five attack. With yeah, five hero attack. Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's five attack. Yeah, you double it. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. But yeah, it looked like he didn't go with your route and ended up costing him a little bit more. Yeah. Ordinate probably and because of 5 2. Minutes. I would probably make well, not not 5 2. Actually, I lied. Maybe not 5. Well, yeah, okay. Five Even piece? if the 2 1 trades into it, you can at least. Oh, have you, you, you either swipe or you hero power this turn. I think you could swipe. You swipe so that now you could actually trade the faceless into it. I guess hero power is fine. It's too. The same yeah, it's the same yeah you, you just want to get rid of the, the 2 1, but the swipe I felt like did a little bit more because it also made it so that the faceless could also die. Oh, Ugh, that's a doom hammer. That's a doom hammer. All right, here we go. We're going to yeah. face now. We're probably going to use that do memory hit the five two and just go face. Yeah, I don't see it do anything else. Dealing nine damage, putting him down to ten. Potential lethal next turn with eleven damage on board. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, seems good. I agree. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Does that innervate change anything? No, not really. You know what they need to do? They need to make a spell that makes target creature into a beast. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, that's actually pretty cool. Well, they kind of had that, but you know these snakes. Oh, you're right. The thing, but I don't know. I, I thought that. No, no, was... no. That that he he, he that, that that's just the same effect as Druid the Claw. If you control a beast, then you get another beast. No, like yeah, a, yeah, a spell the claw that. Like, is like automatic though. But it, it's Druid the Fang though. Yeah, Druid. Well, no, so it, well, the Druid the Fang was you needed an actual um, activator for. Yeah, it. activator. Yeah. As we awkward to see the uh, reverse sweep coming along because no game ever ends and just the now they're actually like the first pick in any lineup. Yeah, they're like a fucking they're dominant. They're so dominant. Yeah, yeah. So dominant. Yes, yes. Shaman is good. Well, we'll see. You know, rotation. You know, things yeah. turn out differently than everybody else would think. You know, everybody's like, 
Oh no, now Freeze Mage is going to be the tier 1 deck only thing ever playable. It's like, well, Freeze Mage has just not been in the meta for like the last four months, so... It like occasionally show up in banned formats where you can ban the Warrior deck. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's currently this format. But yeah, it still doesn't see that much love. Though we've seen it win this tournament a few times. Phone Tap played it not that long ago and won the tournament. So, mm -hmm. that's something. All right, we're gonna see the living rooms. We're moving beast right away, as you know, beasts are essential in this kind of deck. You don't want too much value out of the druid, of uh, Mark yeah. of Yasaraj. Then we're gonna see the reverse, where he just makes a bunch of one ones. Yeah. And not then actually this is sure. where you cure power down one. Yeah. You not don't want not to actually sure which deck is actually more dominant in this kind of position. Getting the two advantage now at the same time committing a creature to the board, and if you got an innovate out of the spell, then you could go even more crazier and then get, <laughs> uh, uh, what is it, four three plus uh, Frandu becomes a four five four six. Mm -hmm. so, so many things you could do. So many things. Dude. Looks like he's gonna hold off for a turn. So now just uh, the innervate into Vandal to instant. Oh, well, actually, kind of just like going straight into the power of the wild. First, play the uh, Vandal into Raven. Oh, you're two turns away from playing uh, Yag, but yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> it's just so gross. Okay, I want to see him go Raven Idol first before corning out and innervating here. Yeah. Seeing what he gets. Looks like he's just gonna use the coin into the power of the wild, which is. Fine too, but I, I would really like seeing the Raven Idol here, like, just to get that immediate value. But yeah, see, this is the turn that I was possibly talking about last. Year. Looking, yeah, Wrath seems to be pretty okay here. You can wrap for three into the uh, Fantro and just remove it with your your three two. You want to remove that as fast as possible because you don't want like, a yeah. kind of crazy ass value a little bit. Disgusting. Fandro is like the powerhouse in the deck. It it's what gets you to Yogg. It's what gets you into that like game with disgusting value. With even more value. Even more. Now actually just turns in your really dead cards that typically don't do anything into something even more great. Mm -hmm. Like these double Raven Idols now. Double Raven Idols. Just get all the spells that you want. Yeah, but you, you can even have the Ooh, okay, so. Had a really good board on turn two. Yeah. With sick disgusting value. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting going with the, the bike though. That's that's an interesting card to pick. Oh, another Raven Idol. That is one of the problems with these decks, is that a lot of times they just don't have any minions. <laughs> yeah, he wins the Raven Idol. They just can hear power down. Yeah, especially when your elf can get like a minion kind of base deck, you probably want minions to trade for like two, for, like potential two for ones instead. Potential two for ones. I mean, yeah, look, what is that snapping turtle? Is that is yeah, that o o o Oasis Snapjaw. Yeah, always a snap jaw. Like that would have been actually really good against yeah, this deck exactly. because a lot of the druid creatures are two health minions, and then we see a bunch of non-two health minions in his hand. So I'll, I'll be quiet for now. Oh, we'll beautiful! See. He can bite and Living root roots. it. Yeah. Yeah, he does get out of it scot free. He just stays at twenty-seven, but at least he keeps a minion on board. Mm -hmm. And that's what he needs to, because he doesn't really have anything else to work with. And you need to, I guess, get as much value out of it as possible. Well, that's what he took the bite for. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're probably gonna see the uh, savagery come down. Uh, savagery come back and then just here. Yeah, yeah, it's like such an easy board clear. Like I, I don't know. I say board clear. It's like just removing one minion, but it's like you're taking the tip of lead here. Like you, you have a minion. You actually have a disgustingly like, good minion at that. Like, how would you not do it? <laughs> it's like. You don't have anything going on with the Fandral, so you'd have to end up swiping, and the Menagerie Warden doesn't do much either. And that was a really sick top deck. Uh, three drop spell? What three drop spell? Mulch. Wrath? Mulch looks pretty good. Wrath looks also okay, but doesn't instantly remove it. Mulch instantly removes it, but does give your opponent a minion back. Mm -hmm. Which could cost you. It's cost people in the past. But it, it does seem like a really good play. Like That's yeah. what I was looking for I mean when I... Yeah, Menagerie Warden is still a thing too, and now that's also quite trending as well. Yeah, Savage Ben. All of a sudden, your hero power has five attack. Yeah, you're getting a lot of value out of it, also. And at this point, we're probably just gonna see a swipe coming from uh, Phoenix. Oh, we have another beast. Ooh, the boar! Oh, it's a beast! Boar. Oh. Like you're only fighting against one card in your opponent's hand at the moment, so it's not bad. Yeah, probably go with that one. Just going with the thick tempo play, I guess. Well, it's it's not even. Like, a teacher is a threat. 
it will continuously gain you extra value off of each one of your spells. Oh, it's a threat. Oh, fair rage could be good later on just for healing, just yeah. in case you're you're behind and you can just use. Or it could be removal. Yeah, it could be removal. Yeah. Potential five attack can yeah. kill a phantom. Yeah. Or oh. a menagerie. We're warden. gonna see a boar, and we're gonna see a menagerie warden. I, lo I love to see that. Uh, never mind, JK. We're about to see some stealth minions <laughs> and a menagerie warden. <laughs> Or Fandral, Fandral gives you a stealth hate minion. Oh, oh. you and you get to play the boar. What? He's not so doing much it. Board. Oh, uh, it's the monarch. So boring. So boring. Uh, also that placement. Oh, oh, if you were greedy, Swipe would have annihilated everything. Middle of the match. OCD, one AP in the middle. Damn. Yeah, everything has to be what symmetrical. Uh. Mirror image of itself, uh, in a line, I guess, yeah. is what you were looking for. It could be in that some kind of pattern. pattern. Yeah, it has to be in a pattern. Yeah. That is not a pattern. <laughs> no, one, two, three, that's the start of a pattern, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we're seeing the instant removal for, like, of the Menagerie. menagerie board. I, I guess, like, he just wants to slow down the game. Now he's just looking for the y'all kind of route since he is kind of behind. He does still have the Pharaoh Rage to heal himself to slow down the game, or he can use that as removal. Well, it's not even actually slowed down the game. It's like he's about to die. He has to find some way to gain tempo back in the future. And that Stranglethor oh. Tiger was a huge pickup. Oh. Ooh. Wiss of the Ooh. Old Gods is pretty good, too. I think Ooh. Wiss of the Old Gods... Ooh. Ooh, Mark of the Wild. Like, he could actually pump up, yeah, one of his minions, and then he could play Menage Warden on oh, that. Oh, that's turn. disgusting. Yeah. Oh, really that's... big taunt. Man. Oh, wait, he's going attack mode. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Swipe? Swipe? That's not a swipe. If, so that's if, if he gains, if he gains E, does he is he able to play uh, Yogg next turn? And let's play Yogg next turn. Yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do. That's his only out. Man, Yogg is like the lifesaver of everybody's lives right now, man. Well, that's what it was always meant to be. Like they wanted to make minions that were finally uh, win conditions, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Yogg's not really a win condition normally. He's more of like a stabilizer. Yeah, um, but I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but like the Zoth is really good. Yasuraj is pretty good if you actually could make a deck that gets him out early. Um, what's the other god does nothing that no one actually plays? <laughs> what's the other one? The, god. the other god. <laughs> yeah. Already, already said Yasuraj. And... Uh, Zoth, Cthun, yeah, those are- oh yeah, Cthun. Cthun sees a lot of play. So oh. yeah, I already said them all. Like, all the gods actually are very playable, and they want them all to be really- yeah, board clear. Oh, taunt too. That's good. Oh, ice lance. Freeze that minion, not your face. Okay, draw. That's sick. Ooh, bear trap. That's nice. Ooh, and another taunt minion! Oh. Uh, draw our mana excel. So you got two mana for this turn. That's cool. And you can use it now. Which makes it so that your 2-2, two -two, or your 1-1 one -one is still healthy. Or now all your 1-1s one are healthy. Who's getting pumped? One of those. Hopefully he waits for Yogg to finish before he ends up using the Power of the Wild to miss out on something. That is disgusting. Okay, yeah, Power of the Wild seems sick here. Yeah. Now not even Swipe can punish that Yogg. That Yogg just reversed the game so hard. Yeah. Spectacular. Holy. Spectacular. Holy crap, Yogg is so disgusting. Disgustingly good. I remember when you guys, uh, when we did a video on it, uh, you guys were like, "Y'all get so bad, it's not gonna see any play." It's like, well, I could agree to you, with you and disagree with you. It's like the the only agreements that I got out of you guys is that it's gonna be in like niche decks that people like want to have fun with, and that was like the same thing the that the bro said. Yeah, I know he just won the game of Yogg. I know he won the game of Yogg. It was in such a bad position but, too. <laughs> I'm just saying that you guys said Yogg wasn't that bad, or wasn't that good, and it's like, well, well it seems well, I, like... I, I didn't say that, I Actually, said it wasn't playable. There's a bunch of spells that say, like, only your opponent's minions, or only minions, or only, you know, stuff like that, like, that, that doesn't actually hurt you. So it's like 65% of your, in your favor when you play Yogg. Alright, I never said it was bad, I said it can't be used as a last resort. But I didn't do the math on it during that time, though. I don't think anybody did the math on it. Yeah. I think a lot of people originally wrote it off instantly. Yeah. I said it can be used as a last resort. That, like that's the only thing that I see it as. It's like you're you're kind of screwed, and then you just you just play it in the end, and then just hope for the best. 
Or you really want to use it as a win condition, you can use it with stuff like Ice Block, but then again, that's sort of weird too, because... Uh, well, that's not even a good yeah, 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 option. It, it, it kills, we saw those Tempo decks. Yeah, it, like, yeah. Yogg ends up killing you more times than not because of, like, Overdraw or random AoE effect or something like that. Like, I, even after I just said, like, all the AoEs go in your favor, but Hellfire kills you. Yeah. You could randomly fireball yourself, <laughs> which happened. Power Blast? So this is the discard zoo deck. Did we see this from him already? Pardon? We, we, this is the first time we're actually seeing zoo from uh, Top Ramos. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's just uh, we're seeing. Oh, wait, 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 no, it probably the second time because he lost with it, right? Did he? Okay, then yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He lost yeah, against yeah. the dragon. Zoo. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the uh, dragon one. The yeah. dragon warlock. Yeah, this was the first deck that uh, yeah Top Ramos actually played. He does have the uh, Alcazar Zemp. So we're gonna see some crazy stuff go on. Mm -hmm. Go down. This is actually a very interesting kind of matchup because then um, Zoo Ooh. most of the time kind of beats up the um, Druid decks in general. But it all depends when the swipe is actually being played. Like how definitely much... fights against these tempo decks. Yeah, yeah. It's like how much of a tempo you're getting with your swipe. So... Well, this swipe's still pretty good. You get to clear off. Both the M-Gang bosses, and you can kill off one of the 1-1 one, one minions. And you can clear the second one next turn with your hero power. Um, it might be better just to develop Druid the Claw as yeah, a yeah, six. Ooh, Ooh, I so... love the Councilman with the Imp here. It is a very sticky kind of board, so it's not bad. And Imp has already shown that it needs to be one of those things that needs to be removed immediately, but so does Councilman. So Druid the Claw, what are you doing, buddy? Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Tiger, hello. What are we doing? Mark a Yasiraj on Tiger? Seems good. Yeah, seems good. Uh, I would probably do that. It guarantees you the removal of the Dark, uh, the, uh, dark Shower Councilman. The Councilman. Yeah. I think Councilman needs to be your main removal. Like, the th remain, yeah, the thing that you want to remove first because, geez, that creature can get way too large. And, man, so more good minions. So, gonna throw down the two imps, gonna attack in. Wait, bad placement. <laughs> Very he just lost point of damage. Yeah. yeah, he just lost the point of damage. Yeah. You are not the boss of me. Interesting. Now, if there's a discard card that um. Silverware golem, get a three three and draw four. Mm -hmm. So gross. It's but yes, this board I'm, is looking great. Wait, I'm is he able to? I don't know. He's yeah. not. I'm, I'm not sure if this board itself has enough for like tempo that uh like if this effect is actually has enough tempo to actually bring back the board to the side tempo card out of it like it's gonna get probably a 1-1 imp or yeah maybe even uh Belkazar's imp as well yeah so like that did end up costing him quite a bit gonna see how he's gonna fight this back it looks like he's gonna go with an argus play and trading it in one of the imps mm -hmm. yeah that that placement yeah missing out that one damage to the um yeah councilman really cost them because then he has to do additional trading. Feels bad, man. So yeah. Because then you it, know that he will try to remove the councilman first too, right? Do okay if you okay you don't actually have to put it on the imp. You kind of want the imp to stay alive. So I like putting it on the abusive, which makes it so that abusive is protected from swipe, and you put it on the the dry wolf alpha because that's the main target. The one that anyway. So he doesn't lose any damage here. He actually gets plus one. What, what do they use for the priest? Um, Purify? No, I'm kidding. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, You mean draw uh, engine? Yeah, draw engine. North Shire Cleric. Uh, yeah, North Shire Cleric. So yeah, it's just draw engine, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Purify Maxar is also draw engine, you know that. Where shall I strike? That's not a draw engine, that's just a draw. That's just a cycle card. Purify is a draw engine, dude. It's a cycle card. It's a draw engine. Cycle card. Depends how you view it. No, I'm kidding. A cycle card is where you play it and you get a card out of it. That is a cycle. It went, went from your hand back to your hand. No loss of value. No loss of value. No loss of value. Never loss of value. You know, I played against a Purify deck. Oh, you, you gave that minion plus two plus two? No, no, that's gone. Everything is gone. Double trade. Seems good. So that's a deal that with Tiger, but you get to go face and you're staying alive. Staying alive is what counts. Because then you could also do the Mark of Yasiraj this turn. Mm -hmm. Or in his case, he looks like he wants to do Raven at all. Yeah, see what he gets first. A potentially a really good spell allows to like, board to clear, right? Like swipe. Oh my god. Swipe? 
Swipe, swipe looks would be good. good. Yeah, so swipe looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Well, I, I just mainly want to remove a bunch of creatures from the board this turn. Yeah. And swipe does exactly that. Yeah, you're probably gonna swipe the imp and then just hear power down to flame imp. Are we getting? Oh, I was about to say, it's like, are we getting Raven out of bug? But yeah, now he gets yeah, just the hero power. Yeah, and then he could just trade in his yeah his tiger into the uh, two three. Easy. It doesn't Easy set him up for lethal, does it though? No, but. It... Well, let, let's take real quick. That'd be five attack with savage roar and the savage get bad the next turn because he'll have enough mana to do all the above, right? That's mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Oh, but he took the north. Yeah, the I, I, I think. Yeah, I think you have to take the footman here. Oh man, only if you had the Bakazar's Imps, it would have been insane. And this is the second time today we are seeing Silver Red Golem played as a 3-3. Three, three for... yeah. He actually had multiple ways to discard, and it probably makes a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Now I look at Hearthpone, like a lot of the decks are very lackluster nowadays. Like I don't normally look at it anymore. Unfortunately. Well, it's because everybody yeah. can post on there, and that's the main problem is that everybody yeah. posts on there. I, I used to always post on there, but back then when I posted on there, those decks were... Well, you also needed... Yeah. Like, more people looked at the votes, but now there's like 50 decks of the same type that have the same amount of votes. Yeah. I can't tell if it's a lot of votes or too little votes. It yeah. looks all the same to me. Yeah. <laughs> back then, the um, votes were pretty high. Like, You know, he might actually be able to swing back from this turn. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's just playing the abusive as just a, a one two or two one minion, and then he's gonna trade. Is, is there a better trade? No, like you you put the wait. Does he have lethal? No, he's one off lethal. Yeah, he's one off lethal. Oh, so he's tapping to see if he gets power. Well, okay. Um, All right, I think he needs to trade. Uh, yeah, w. Uh, yeah, he has to trade into the tiger, and then he trades into the savage combatant, and then he probably can't really lose from here. Or actually, can lose from no, here. No, no, he still can. The word golem is to tap first. Just to see what you can do, because he could have played the card anyway. Like he could have played the power overwhelming, which would have gave him lethal anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Wow, that Minaji, Like even though that he's getting a crappy two-two out of the deal, yeah, but that's a lot. Yeah, it still yeah. seems pretty good. Yeah. See, this is the um, thing about the discard warlock deck. I don't know. Well, okay, like he's looking for an instant win, or he doesn't care. Yeah. Like, because he's probably gonna lose from this. Oh, he's doing it! He's doing it! He's yes! Doing it. Discard the Silver War Golem, please! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? I think he's still dead, but you know. Yeah, he is dead. It was worth a shot. Yeah. No, I, he's still alive by one. Really? He takes six? Oh, wait, Hero Power. Forgot about that. Yeah, Hero Power, and then he's a Savage Boy. Seven, seven, six is 13, exactly. So yeah, yeah he was dead. 13, yeah. <laughs> Silverware Golem, why are you not a value card that you were supposed to be? Everybody wanted you to be the chosen one. You were supposed to be the infinite value card. You're supposed to be like, discard a card, turn one, 